The best of friends. Dare I say, creepers and endermen. This is where our interns will sleep. They just be sleeping. Good night, my adorable little bees. Leaves from the vine. Hey, you kids want to learn how to get the ticks off of a piglet? <laughs> well, too bad, because that's what we're doing. As you can see, this is El Chapo. He was rescued from a hoarding situation, and his mom gave birth to him in my bus. That's right, he was covered in ticks. I went ahead and brought him inside. I started playing Minecraft with him when I realized there were ticks all over my arms and my legs. It was foul. If you're new to the the channel you know this ain't the first little creature that we had to cleanse of ticks the best thing to use for ticks is just some regular old dish soap dawn dish soap is typically the best and safest for them as you can see this little boy's shivering but this is necessary he's about the size of a small loaf of bread in my hand perhaps a little baby potato but you really want to get behind the ears because that's where the ticks like to hide out love that this little man is not a screamer most of them are at this age thankfully i caught it in time to go ahead and wash and disinfect everything i did not have him interacting with plapa or big ounce so they don't have any ticks or fleas and after washing him with the dish soap and put some medicine on him i went ahead and put him in solitary confinement look how cute he is just a little loaf of bread just sitting there i'm still gonna have to go through and pick all the fleas off him tonight while this was going on a coyote was sniffing around the way back end of the property and take a look at this that's right this is my son name of pog he's protecting our property and this is why he's been escaping i'm not even mad at him anymore well, guys, it looks like our little Piggerton has made a little friend. That's right. My piglet is now best friends with my prairie dogs. As you can see, they get along very well. They eat similar stuff, and they cuddle. As I give these little guys nuggets, they're content to just sit here and eat right next to them. They don't have any problems with them. Look at this man just sitting on his bum eating. And this little piglet's just interested in everything. I filmed this a little while ago, and to this date, they have not fought. But I do think these guys are friendly, and they can't live together. That's interesting. I've never seen them before. And these two will make the best of friends. I also think these two will make wonderful, wonderful friends for a very long time. Also, I forgot my old trick of just using a cinder block, and that's just been working perfectly for these guys he does not have any issues with his feet at all it's been a month baby kevin is now growing very very well so i think i'm going to name him but i'm not gonna name him in this episode you guys are whatever the top comment is to this video i will name this adorable little man make it something pg 13 at worst look at this adorable little baby boy this one will be friendly so much potential leaves from the vine falling so slow What's up, epic Fortnite pranksters? Look at these little pigs just running all over the property now. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? Look at that little one back there. Piglets are getting real comfortable, you guys. They've been running into the neighbor's property, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, running over here. But I got the rest of the fencing that we'll ever need here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. I don't think we'll ever need more panels for fencing. Whoa, look at that morning dove. This is what I look like now. This is the new me. If you don't like it, big whoop. Want to fight about it? I laid down some nice Bermuda seed everywhere here. I'm talking everywhere, you guys. I'm going to start watering this whole area really well. The solar panels are working back there i'm stringing up all the lights as well as you can see i banished the bigger piggers into this little area here because look there's the nipple because they kept destroying all this grass and for now this is fine this is way more space than those ffa kids gave look what they did you guys they just destroyed this and they ripped it out i don't know if i used the wrong sealant or if it just didn't take long enough i probably should have used some crazy glue either way i'm gonna try and fix it but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to now because that hole's pretty big for now we are going to let the rest of the grass seed I put down in here grow without these pigs here and I'm just going to sacrifice the grass in this small area I am going to throw a ton of straw and hay down here for nice bedding and to keep it from getting too muddy but the pigs would love it either way the grass is slowly growing back here uh, these little pigs like to run all over the property now like I just said and this mom is doing really well but I brought the little baby boy inside and it turns out they all have terrible terrible ticks I'm talking tons of ticks like these guys have probably tons and tons of ticks. So I treated Poggers and Queen first. I gave them the medicine. But now I'm gonna have to start treating these guys. There's really only a few to treat. But it's safe to assume that the baby has ticks too, which is okay, because kangaroos get ticks in the wild all the time. But it's still kind of a shame that I have to treat him. I have to be really careful. I'm not sure exactly how to get ticks off of a kangaroo. But also look at all the ducks just hang out in here for no reason at all. But I'll show you guys the lighting set up. The solar panels are working really, really well. They charge so quickly. It's running 143 watts on just eight strands 
tens of this, which means we can have up to 2,000. That means that with this thing, we actually have enough power to light the entire property completely with solar and maybe some other little thing. It's just like Minecraft, you guys. The more lights, the less mobs. I don't want these creepers spawning anywhere near here. Speaking of creepers, these are called creepers as well. They're just these spiky little awful devilish things that climb up trees. And even after you cut them, they stay here like this. Look at this. It's just a jagger vine. Let me know if there's anything I can put down to kill all this stuff without killing anything else, you guys. All right, I have all the little chickens in here. I've finally got all the lights strung up in this back area. Pretty soon these lights will turn on. And I've been working all day. I'm getting real sunburned. All right, y'all, here it is. Take a look at this. Wow, this is beautiful. All the chimkins are over there still. They still need to learn how to get into the coop. I might have to herd them all in there and close them in for the night. Pumpkins are growing in really, really well. In some spots, we have two healthy ones. I'll probably transplant some of these healthy little pumpkins into the front yard. Now we are significantly more protected from predators and dare I say creepers and endermen. But take a look at this, you guys. Wow, and I can go in here at night too and see everything. That's what I love about this. I went ahead and strung it around here so that I could see everything in here. That way, if I need to come in here at night, tend to things, or just sleep in here, this is where our interns will sleep. How's about you guys apply to the Urban Rescue Ranch internship? Come on out here. You can sleep in this here beautiful greenhouse. Nice and cool at night right now, but won't be this summer. But we got our extra beehives here for when they're ready to grow. We got our fertilizer. We got these things so that we can automate the watering pretty soon. Can not wait to get that set up. I got all these guys and I have a few extras in my car to finish out loading this. And that's it. We got our beekeeping stuff, the little arrow here, the bow. Bees are doing really well. Well, I don't really even know that. I haven't even checked them yet. I was advised by my papa to not give them food, not give them anything, just let them get settled in for the first week. And they seem to have been doing pretty well. There's so many flowers here, you guys, that I think they're doing fine with pollen. And there's also so much pollen on the trees. I like to water in the evening because then it won't evaporate immediately with the Texas heat. So lately I've just been switching these manually. Turn that one off and then I turn these ones on and then these two together will get the rest of all the pumpkins. It's going to be a lot more simple. Ooh! It's going to be a lot more simple whenever I get it set up with that automated thing. We're doing a real natural garden, you guys. Look at all these peas. It's growing it right in the ground with everything else. This is some, I bet there's, oh gosh, I bet that Joel Saladin or Justin Rhodes fellers has some kind of thing to say about growing it straight in the ground. I'm not going to pretend to be some fancy schmancy gardener, but I will tell you that I can make a mean pumpkin patch. You'll see. Hey, all 20 of you rescue chickens. How's about you guys not sleep in this little corner here? How's about you guys go pick yourselves up and walk over there and spend some time over there where I put a lot of money and time into. And with this little feller here, I can just manually water these trees. Rest in peace, Nugget. I give a healthy amount to this little persimmon tree right here. Rest in peace, baby Kevin. I also have a bunch of watermelons planted right here, as you can see. Then I walk over here and I say good night to my adorable little bees. Good night, my adorable little bees. For some reason, this chimkin is sleeping up here, but that's okay so long as he doesn't poop all over my nice new solar panels. Tonight I'm gonna run to Walmart, get some flex seal so I can seal off to where we put the screws in here. That's pretty good, all things considered. We kind of ran out of direct sunlight about five hours ago and it's been running for six hours. Take a look at this, you guys. I was so excited I didn't want to say anything. This is how they all sleep every night. They just make a little puppy pile. Goodness gracious, this really is the most adorable little thing I've ever seen. Look at that absolute unit. Look how they're all just cuddling, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. Also, Plappa no longer stinks. She has not bitten me in at least a week. Wow, you guys. I didn't have any idea that these guys would end up being friends, but this is insane. I just can't wait to see what they end up being like whenever he gets huge. Big Ounce and Plappa are finally getting along again, and she's not trying to bite me. Look. El Chapo actually tries to mitigate the fighting between these two. Aww. And when it's time to feed them, I just switch out the water here. I give these guys a nugget. And I'll still separate Plappa and give her an extra nugget because she's a little thin. Or she's just a normal size, which would make sense for a prairie dog. This is a normal size prairie dog. I think she may also have worms, actually. Yeah, now that I feel her belly, she might have a little worm. If she does have worms, I'm going to look into getting a dewormer. And then I give him a little bit of this stuff. He just has some mini pig food that you can get at Walmart. Put it right in there. These guys can eat it too. It's not the end of the world. 
Now I got my gloves in here from Orshon. I got the other little things that I need here with the little smoker. We got some June bugs trapped in here. That's very fun. I got my little to-do list here. Here's that little stowaway chicken. Look how cute she is. But I went ahead and flex sealed everything. I flex sealed all this stuff here as well. The pogs and queens seem to be enjoying their evening tonight. Keeping a watch on that gate and protecting our new chickens from any kind of monster. Man, oh man, well, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Good evening. Oh my goodness, take a look at these adorable babies. Look how they just be sleeping with each other.